Hey everybody, Bob here. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you a new tool that has been added to Golf League Tracker, which I call the League Health Checkup Tool. And what this tool will do is um, show you as league administrator some possible problems with your configuration or your settings and warn you of them before they become a problem. Um, and so some things are okay, it'll give you a warning and uh, for your particular league, it may be fine, but sometimes it won't be. So I'm going to show you with my own league, and we're going to log in here. And the next time you log in, you're going to see this. And once I log in, it redirects you to the league health checkup because it's going to run one time. It hasn't run yet for your league. And what we're going to do here before we look at that is I'm going to click on this link right here where it says uh, list all the rules which the... Um, tool checks for and that as this video is made in June of 2021 these are the things that it will check but this may change and probably will change as time goes on um, so I will add more things to check for as I see them be a more common configuration problem with um, some leagues and that way it will uh, help you configure your league properly so this will check for things in your golf course, like an invalid rating or slope. Um, often people will enter the same rating and slope for each nine holes. And while that may be possible um, that they're the same, you should double check because uh, the USGA actually rates each nine holes separately. So um, I have a link here to the USGA National Course Rating Database, and you can look up the actual rating of your golf course for each nine. Um, things like in your schedule where you've left a round empty or possibly have not scheduled everybody for a round. Um, the, the second happens often when you add players to your league and forget to add them to the schedule. So players, it will check for things like um, for the leagues that uh, are set up for pulling from the gin for handicaps. Uh, this will check if you have some players set up with a GIN number and some that aren't. Um, in addition, it's going to check for invalid emails or bounced emails for players. If you've used the uh, email function in Golf League Tracker, if an email gets bounced back to the system to a user, it will flag that user in the database and it won't send to that player anymore. And this will warn you of which players um, it it came back on and allow you to fix it. By the way, you can also go to the admin player list and any invalid emails will be shown in red and you can go and correct those as well. Um, and then the biggest one is various settings, which while they're allowed to be entered into Golf League Tracker because some leagues um, may need to be configured, uh, for this particular way. This is going to tell you when the settings that you've you've set are kind of out of the norm. Um, you know, if it, the 80-20 rule, if you're in that 20%, uh, you may be getting a warning for one of these rules. And, you know, I have a number of settings in Golf League Tracker. I'm, I'm going to go through these in the coming months and create more rules of, of issues where they may not be correct. All right, so... That's just the overview of which settings are currently checked for. Um, again, this will change for sure as time goes on. So I'm gonna go back to my league health checkup. And this is my actual league and I am going to run it. So I'm just gonna click on the run all health checkup button. And it only takes a second to run. And then we see a couple different things going on here with um, scheduling and players. So. In this one, it's telling me, hey, week 18 and 19 have not been set. And I can go here and click on more info. And it will give you a, a more detailed description of why you got this warning. And uh, as I say, it's simply a warning to give you a heads up if the round was left empty. In this case, these are fine in my league because rounds 18 and 19 are position rounds. So we're currently in, I think it's week 11 in our season. So once it gets time to the position round, you know, I'll, I'll go and set that, those rounds manually. Um, so for now, I'm good with these. So I can click on dismiss next to each one of these. And now it will hide those warnings the next time I come in here. 
Um, now the other two are email issues and um, I get these for these two users all the time because their mailbox gets filled up and they don't clean them out. So when you, if you ever emailed somebody and says, hey, their mailbox is full, well, that's why these keep coming back with these two guys. Um, now I can go and reset their status and try again because they may clear their mailbox out. Okay, so I've gone into the player list and I've resaved these two players. And now I'm going to click on the recheck all open issues. So these two issues are currently open and I'll hit recheck. So now that I've rechecked all my open issues, there are no known issues and I am good to go. Um, now you can also rerun all the health checkups by clicking on the blue button and that resets the status of all the dismissed items. So I'm gonna click on that again. And again, it's gonna tell me, hey, my weeks 18 and 19 have not been set. Um, and again, that's because those are position rounds and I can go and dismiss these. Uh, but I'm going to show you, we're going to reset these again. And now when I log back into my league, as administrator, it's going to tell you that you have open issues with your league health checkup. And then I can click on this link and it will take me to the list. And um, that way you can dismiss them or fix them if it is an issue. So I hope this helps you in configuring your league. And let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.